Hey guys, and welcome to Glitch Space, a brand new sort of puzzle platformer type game that uh, deals with programming as one of its mechanics. And I'm a failed programmer, so let's do this. WASD is move, as you'd expect. Whoa, that is... I'm sorry, that is the most astonishingly slow mouse sensitivity I've ever seen. Let's try that again. There we go. That's probably- that might be a little high, but that was- It started so low that I couldn't- I was actually kind of taken aback by how little I could move. So there's little hints of stuff outside this building. Crazy floating stuff out, out the windows. What do we got here? Got a red wall in my way. that goes up and down. Okay. I missed. Good job, me. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that back- Interesting, the uh... The game doesn't actually pause when you pause. Let's, let's split the difference here. It did go a little too high now. But yeah, the <laughs> I couldn't move at first. That was astonishing. What do we got here? Is white stuff safe to walk on? Sh should I be worried right now? This thing's staring at me and it's freaking me out. Can I hop back out? Oh, you can hop back. You can just hop out like it's no big deal. Alright, we have a high jump. That was freaking me out a little bit. Why The way it was reacting to me. Alright, I'm well and truly trapped now. Weird red barriers just kind of here. Alright. I constantly feel like some stuff's just gonna, like, radiate me and fill me with cancer around here. Everything's humming and buzzing and reacting to me. And they're not happy sounds. If is that the tinnitus machine? Is that where all the ringing in my ears is coming from? Hi? Go we'll walk into you. This is the null canvas. You can add and connect nodes to the canvas to create uh, programs that affect the red cuboids in the world. Nodes are selected from a pop-out menu. Left-click to continue. This is how we create a node. Select numbers. Ten. Nodes can be connected in two ways, clicking and dragging the output of a node to the input of another, or by clicking and dragging the nodes together. If the connection was made correctly, the line will appear. So it shows a guy dragging a line to connect them, and it shows somebody physically dragged the node over to touch them together, also. Nodes can be connected to their outputs and in uh, can be connected if their outputs and inputs match. So. Tetris piece doesn't go to triangle, but triangle can go to triangle. Different types of, uh, have different shapes. Numbers, for example, output a triangle. Alright, so we currently have a, let's say, 10. Move object down. So we can move the object down by 10. And then quit. And that apparently gets the barrier right out of my way. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Ah. Uh -huh. They taunted me with the uh, the concept of such a tr smooth transition, but it was a loading screen after all. I guess these are just mirrors. Except that's on my left, so it's not even a mirror, it's like a... an image of what it looks like to look in this direction. Okay, any red object can be ma manipulated. But do I need to? Let's see what this place looks like first. So my entire block turns red when I look at that. But yes, I cannot get over there. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that over there, probably? Okay. We need to move the object forward. Let's try 10, for starters. Oops, cancel out. But 10 is not enough. Oops, and now I fell. Good job, me. So let's try 20. It's 
It's only one out, one input though, so let's just delete these guys. Try a, a higher number. And we have our exit. Sweet. These are namespaces. They alter the available functions in your toolbox. So presumably I just got new abilities then. I learned something new. Cords connecting nodes together can be cut to break the program. Hover over the cord until a pair of scissors appears, then left click. So right now it says true, object is solid, so I'll make it not solid. Notes can also be deleted entirely by right clicking them, which I found out earlier on accident. Logic has been added to your toolbox. What's logic do? True or false? Okay. So false. Here we go. Take that logic. I don't need you. Oh. So now we're gonna have to combine the two, aren't we? Object is solid? Nope. We're gonna need a big old piece of true for that. And then we're gonna wanna get on it. Then we're gonna wanna move it forward by like looks like 20. Oops. There we go. Good to go. I think I'm on board so far. I'm sure it's gonna get really weird though. Beware of data flow. Oh, hey, there we go. Just make this wall solid and the data flow will go away. Take that data flow. I don't need you in my life. And now we've learned something new, apparently. Some nodes look a little different. They are called abstractions and contain multiple nodes which create small functions. As you progress, these abstractions break apart, giving more freedom. Vectors have now been added to your toolbox. Be sure to use the widget in the bottom right to figure out which vector to use. So use the widget to determine vectors. What's this little guy? Can I re Oh! It's a compass, basically. It's telling me which which direction would be X, for example. Okay, so move object. Honestly, Y sounds like a good idea. But I need a number for it now. Wait, that's not what Y said. Y said up. I thought Y was supposed to be up. How do I move this thing then? Because it seems to be lying to me. Oh, never mind. I picked the wrong vector somehow. I meant Y. There we go. That's what I was going for. I somehow I somehow got X instead of Y. My bad. Okay, so we're gonna have to move you up. That's exactly right. Uh, let's get a number. Ooh, not quite. Five. That'll cut off our data stream. Now we just now we need a bridge. That should probably stay where it is. So instead we're gonna move you along. Yep, X sounds like the right number. No, negative X. Vectors X. I guess I need an I guess I need negative values. Actually no, it came back already. So I guess we're good already, so now I just need to move it along Z. I just had to delete its previous direction it was going in. So we'll move you over by about 10. Negative Z, my bad. How do I make negative numbers? It does not seem that I can. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't need to though. Give you X, but no number. So that's your- is that your default, default position then? It must be. Let's try Z then. How do, yeah, how do I make them move in negative X direction? Vectors? X, Y, Z, there's no negative direction. Huh. 
Aha. Okay. Well, we need him back in- we need him back in the way. Because right now he's going- he's not even in a spot we can use. And I don't see any way to make it negative. Or to add multiple. Let's see. I'm sure I can just move you back, though. Yeah, move you in the X direction now. Say 10. 20. Better. And then we can make you go up. With Y. Let's say 20... Y. And we're up. Ta-da! He looks so... Whoa, I went a little high, didn't I? That's fine. We're fine. We don't need no fall damage in our puzzle game. Some cuboids have pre-programmed functions that cannot be edited. Oh, so you have to work around them, huh? So what's this one's deal? Apply force upwards, 50. No escape. So it's just a straight-up trampoline. Okay, why not? Go! Uh-oh. Alright, can I sprint? Is it possible to move that far forward? No. Okay, so let's just try to bring this one back over here then. Move along X. Oh, but I don't, I don't have the ability to move things in negative X as far as I can tell. Unless I'm missing something. Oh! There we go. That's all I needed. Head on over. Thankfully, it defaulted to that position, so I didn't need my negative numbers. Hey, particles. Oh, that's not a window. I totally thought there was going to be a window there. Whoa. Here I was getting ready to hack it, and it was already ready to hack me back. Okay. I need something to catch me, then. The X direction is going to be our ally here. Let's try 20 again. There we go. I'm sure it'll save me now. Aha! There we go. There we go. So far, so good. I'm on, I'm on top of these. A crazy puzzle progr uh, programming game. It does remind... Oop. It does remind me of trying to deal with pseudocode in the past. Oh, there's a uh, data stream up there. Okay. That's the wrong one. So we're, well, we want to go up. About 10, I'd say. So it blocks the data stream so we can continue. And now we can jump, but to what end? Looks like I can't do anything with it, so I just have to assume that's the right number. Made it. Sweet. Enjoy your motion sickness, everybody. Got an upgrade. Cool. What do I get? So now I can place one whenever I want, but only one. Interesting. Keep that in mind. Use the middle mouse wheel to change where you spawn the cuboid. Oh, zooming in and out. That's a nice touch too. So for starters, I should probably just be using it as a basic platform, right? I probably can't jump this high? Oh, I can. Here we go. And then soon I'll probably probably have to augment it with actual additional properties, but for now they just want me to prove that I can do it. Oop, I almost didn't make that. I got it though. Time for a new upgrade. Hup. Find out what our new logic is. Interesting. Interesting. So it, it aligns itself along a specific vector direction based on a number that's constantly changing over time. And I can't touch this thing at all, so I can't change what's currently programmed onto it. So I can, Which means I don't know what my new toy is yet.
interesting to have a little fountain in the environment. It's like they, it's almost like they were person personifying or something. Let's see. So we're gonna need this to go up. Um. Let's see here. We need you to go up by about twenty. Do I need to? Yeah, move object. Sorry, we need to attach these things together. I was confused for a second there. I'm like, um, what do I attach this to? I haven't had to spawn the basic logic piece to before. Um, hi. Yep. Let's go ahead and get you moving. Uh, no longer attaching along Y, really. Oh, negative X is a problem too, huh? Let's see. Move objects the right thing to do. Let's say 20. That's not the right thing though. I should probably just, I probably should just work on this guy. Uh, we can change the, the angle it's in. But I don't have very many numbers. Ah, that's a start. 20. Ow. It does work better if I jump. Sweet. Nailed it. I'm o I've always been the king of spacebar jumping. I don't know if you'd ever noticed that before. I've, I've never had problems hitting, hitting a spacebar to jump. Ever. Right. Platforms? Where are you going? Just up for a while? Alright. I'll join you. Take me with you. I must meet your leader. Hey, yep. Thanks for the ride. Uh, enjoy, I don't know, the abstraction of space. That, 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 that looks like a bad ride. Sometimes certain functions in the toolbox will become unavailable. Alright, what did I just lose? I assume you just took something from me. Hey, it's like a triple Saturn. It's like a weird cube nucleus. Alright, data streams are bad. We're just gonna have to place one of these down. That'll block it off for a while. And we're in the clear. Oops, my bad. I thought I wasn't quite reaching that far up, I was, and I was mistaken. Huh. Yeah, what do I do? How do I rotate this thing is the question. Mo oh, rotate objects, there we go. We just got this one. Rotate. 90. Not enough though. Vector. Rotate. Along the x-axis? There we go. I've nailed it, but now it's too high. My bad. We'll just have to move it. I got this. Except I can't move it on negative Y, can I? There we go. Just had to move it down a little bit. Now we're in the clear. You're not bouncing me? Alright. Fine. I don't need you to bounce me. Just take me up. No. <laughs> Uh, let's stop with 20. Wait, what happened to 20? What happened to good old 20? Fine, we'll stop. We'll go 10. Move object towards Y. Sweet. So apparently what the thing they took away from me in the toolbox was the number 20. That's very specific. Fine, be that way. I didn't like the number 20 anyway. It's such a non-committal number for the spineless. All right, so we're gonna have to use mine to block the stream, I think, and then use this one to, to actually go along the, the uh, path. Wrong direction now, though. All right, no longer the x-axis. Now we want to rotate on the y-axis. Did I do it wrong? Z. 
Z axis. There we go. I see it now. Because you have to use it as the, uh, the central axis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, the word is axis, so I guess there's no other way to explain it. But the, uh, the center of rotation has to be that axis. So based on the current one, that would be Z to make it rotate from there in that fashion. Hopefully that one little particle doesn't kill me, because that'd be a disappointment. Uh, we want to move along Z. So, move. 90 is probably a good number in this situation. Z. Out of bounds. Cuboid went out of bounds. When this occurs, the canvas is reset and the cuboid is returned to its original position. What happened? Oh. It was taken back to the original position because I broke it, but it still took me to the next platform, so I'm fine. In fact, 20 didn't- I don't think 10 or 20 would have made it, so... I think that was- that was meant to teach me about how it was gonna break. Oh! Hi. Wait, did I just walk through you? But it's usually only temporary. That was weird. So I presumably got 20 back now. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to be able to walk through that without anything happening. I think it was supposed to, uh... I think it was very much supposed to, uh, let me go to the next level. And not glitch out. Um, I'm gonna need you to calm the hell down. We can just shut you up for a bit. Maybe bring you up vertically. Get rid of rotation altogether real quick. I uh, can't get rid of you? Fine. We'll just ignore you. Like you deserve. We're gonna move you along. Why? About 20, I'd say. Ah, uh, 10 might be good, actually. Oops. Numbers, 10. Okay. A little much. Fine. Numbers, 5. We did it. Huzzah! I've saved the world. That's not a solution, though. I must have to... Must just have to make it go higher, right? Alright. Numbers, 90. Oh god, why did it rotate? Oh! I guess I went out of bounds. Because it freaked out. Stop that. All of you. You know better. So, going back to Y again. Starting at 5. I really don't have to do that first step at all, do I? Because I could, I could just jump to it with no big deal. Oh well. Let's try num 20. Hey, I'm still alive this time. That's an improvement. What's up here? Feels like a trap with those particles nearby. Was not ready for it to be a trampoline. Sometimes the keyboard you need might get a little tricky to get to. Is it way down there? Where is it? Let's see. I assume that the, the one that, that's tricky to get to must have some kind of special power I don't have access to yet. Alright, so we need to get past the stream. Step one's gonna be rotate object. But then we're gonna have to move it down the hall so that it can shield me along the way. This is how I figure. We're gonna have to rotate along Z in this case. Good 90 degrees. There we go. And now we just need to move it along the x-axis. Shouldn't be a big deal. Move. We'll start with 20, I think. Eh, maybe 10. Can't really tell how, how deep the hallway is, because if I look, I'll die. Um... X. Wow, it just takes off, too. Alright. Let's upgrade it a little bit. 20. Don't kill me, game. Alright, I'm gonna say that 90 might be the answer here. Ow. Alright, so I may have made a mistake. There we go. If I just start off placing it further down the hallway, that'll give me more room to work with. So first off, rotate along Z. It gives me the starters. And now... No, not logic. 
Now we'll try moving it forward 20 along the x-axis. Go for it. We, st we still safe over here? Yep. And now I should be now it looks like I might be able to drop drop down. Um I'm admittedly not entirely clear on where I'm trying to go. Hey big guy. Where are we going? Anyway. Don't, I may not know where we're trying to go yet. But I do know that I need to be able to move forward, so... Uh... I may need to reset. I kind of fell down in a bad spot and I might be in some trouble here. I can place my own block, I guess. That can get me up there. Alright, so, hang on a second. 90, 20... Um, in this case I need to move along the y-axis. Let's add another, another number here. The wrong button. Vector. Y. Alright. We'll touch the 20. Now where am I? Uh, it might have abandoned me. I may need to kill myself. Ah, it just takes me back. I see what's going on here. I'm supposed to get up on that cliff up there. So I want to take this guy over here, move it as far up as I can. Because then it'll block the stream. I could ride it up, but I'm a little worried about riding it up right now. Because I think I might collide with the stream and die. So let's try to avoid that. And instead just use it to move up. That was the wrong direction. Let's try it again. There we go. Now, now it's all up in my face and I'm blocking the stream. And now I can go ahead and just place my own block and have to use that as an elevator instead. Um, we want to move along Y. So, get rid of one of these real quick. Wrong menu. And we're in the clear. Oh! <laughs> Hang on a second. Come back here real quick. I just wanted to take... I was only trying to take a quick look down there to see what how it looked from here, and I uh, kind of sort of walked right off the ledge. Because I am just that dexterous. I mean, I, I, I really blow myself away sometimes, but how my dexterity is utterly limitless. Do I want to go down here? Guess we'll find out. I don't know, they're all blocks. It's your own- it's everyone's- it's everyone's guess, really. They're both glitching out like crazy. Alright. Boosh! I need to check what these do before I step on them. That's so startling to just get thrown like that. Okay. So you... Uh... You apply force along X. So if I hit that, it'll bounce me back. Which would be bad. That would be bad. Okay. Here's a curiosity. Can I rotate you? I can't do anything with you. That's annoying. Okay. But this one I can rotate. I can man manipulate this guy. So let's move him. Uh. No, not X. Or maybe along X too. But uh, I want to move him along Y. Z. It needs to be. It needs to catch me in some way, or I'll, or I'm going to be in trouble here. Let's try twenty as our go-to. Really, yeah, more or less. Okay. Now we'll try rotating it. Seems like the thing to do. Ooh, you can really just zoom out here. All right. That's handy for when you want to do more. There we go, and you can drag it around a bit. Okay. So now we'll try rotate object along the x-axis for 90. And now it's there. How about this? There we go, we're across, just like that. Uh, huzzah! 
take that weird, I don't know, thing. Now what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> Stretch object. Is that the new thing I have? Vectors are already there. Logic. Abstraction. Rotate, move, and object to solve. They just took away all of my lo logic completely. And took away 90 also. So all I have here is stretch object. So let's try a big old number then, like 20. That seems to have helped. Except for the part where I can't reach it. So let's try to move it along the z-axis by about 10. Axis Z. I can't move it at all. Alright, let's just see if, see if I can make the jump. It helps... It helps a lot more if I hit the jump button. Alright. Do I have a better number than 20? Number 20 is all I got. I can't add any abstractions of my own here. It's stretching along the Z vector. Would it be handy to stretch along other vectors? What if I just added another Z vector? Can I do that? You can't. The Y, uh... I can't tell it to move. What, what if I tell it to stretch along Y? Is there any reason to do that? I'm not allowed to attach it at all. Zero. <laughs> I don't see any reason to do anything besides 20. That seems like the most logical choice. And I can't do anything with this stuff to change how this is attached. There's a Tetris block, and I don't think anything that uses those right now. Oh, duh. I got distracted by the fact that I'm trying to manipulate this thing. I forgot the fact that I can just make my own block. That was the missing element there. Careful platforming! Yeah! That's all I had to do. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's like when I played Portal and forget about the portals. Um... Excuse me, sir. Can you, like, t send me- Oh, there we go. Time for that Y-axis we were talking about. Do it! Kind of startling when it happens. And away we go. So now I need to use stretch for everything, apparently. Stretch and move, okay. I'm going to say, let's move you along the x-axis by about 20. And then stretch you along the y-axis by also about 20. That should solve both problems. I probably could have inverted both of those values and switched them to get the same result. Because, uh, stretching it yeah, I stretched it up and moved it over, but I also probably could have stretched it over and moved it up and probably gotten the exact same result, more or less. We are free to go. In this weird, weird polygonal land. So what change happened now? I will say there's no- there's not much sense of pacing so far. There's no narrative to the game as far as I can tell, which is not in itself a bad thing, but also the environment constantly looks the same, and there's not any particular environmental thing that makes me think, oh, yeah, we're getting there, right? Yeah, that's my goal. Get over there. Uh, I want you to stretch along the z-axis. Let's say 20. There we go. And then we want you to move along the x-axis. By about 20. There we go. Like, if they're not gonna have a narrator or a story of any kind, it would be kinda nice to have some kind of visual element to the environment of like, Oh yeah, we're trying to get from here to there. Would help me- up. Oh. It'd help me maintain some sense of what I was trying to- what I'm trying to accomplish at a given moment. Hello? So we're going to want to try to sh No. Let's try stretching you. Along... We're sitting at a weird angle where I can't really tell very well. Let's just get off the platform. 
when you look around, it messes with your perception there. There we go. You want the Z-axis. Let's say 20 again. There we go. And we'll try moving it. Stop moving down. I didn't tell you to do that. By about 10. On the Z-axis once again. Can I combine those? No, I can't. Probably not, because they have different number values attached to them. Here we go. We're across from that. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm trying to get up there, I'm sure. The environment here is barren. We can't play with you at all, apparently. If I go just hop on a, on a block and it wouldn't be a problem. Up. Oh no. Did not go as planned. So I'm gonna have to place a block over there and try to jump on that. Ah, and run around apparently. Huh. There we go. Slightly disorienting to go around that fashion, but it's fine. Just some basic platforming. What do we got? What do we got? 90. You, you have the 9. <laughs> The only permanent factor is the number 90? That's the most easy thing to work around ever. It just has the n number 90 on it somewhere. Okay, so... Let's try moving you down. Can I... I'm sure I can... Yeah. I figured I could still use other numbers. Uh... I need access here. Let's try stretching it a little bit. We'll stretch along the x-axis. Yeah, x-axis will give me the ability to actually land on it. Because right now it's over- Right now it's over a hole, but now I can jump on it. There we go. Now I want to stretch you upwards. So we're going to try stretch again. But now it's going to be along the- You took y away from me, didn't you bastard? Okay. So I can't use the y-axis at all. That complicates things, because the puzzle is to go up. Obviously. Oh, what did I do? Now where am I? What? Uh? Oh, I moved it out of bounds, didn't I? 20 was too far. Uh, shit. Well, that's annoying. That's an annoying mistake to make. Having to reset the whole puzzle. All right, we'll start with move this time. We'll just move it by 10 to keep the environment happy so it doesn't flip out on me. Oh, X is the wrong way though, isn't it? That makes it go out here. Okay, so let's get rid of the... Let's get rid of rotate. Does Rotate have to be there anyway? Wait, Rotate was already here by default. Shit. Forgot about that. Oh no, I've been on the wrong track this whole time, haven't I? I went and made things really complicated for myself, didn't I? Damn it. I felt really clever, too. I'm an idiot. 90 was already built in, so I didn't have to find... I, was, I got distracted by the fact that 90 was gone. Ah. I felt smart, because I was going to make a nice side ramp and go up it. It was going to go, like, from down there to up here, like, diagonally and bring me up here. Wow. Brain lapse there. Just kind of slip... Let one element of the puzzle slip my mind while I was working on something else. It happens. A lot. 